Hush, baby, hush. Rest your head on your pillow, little one. You'll be home with a ma soon. I've missed you, my child. I've missed you here, in the deep, in the dark, in the cold. Come to me, my sweet little Kian. Come home. How is he, Naani? Will he live? Your magic brought him back from the darkness. My magic helped him stay. But the fight is his alone now. He must choose to live. Hush, Kia, hush. Rest your head on the pillow. You will soon be home. In the deep, in the dark, in the... Why do we keep him alive? He's the enemy. Let the fever eat him up. No, Liko. We brought him here for a reason. We need him alive. You freed me, Kian Alvane. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. When I do kill you, you will feel every twist of my blade as your life drains away. Your pain and shame and dishonor will serve as my vengeance. And I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms, for the shadow in that deep, dark, cold water. They can only protect you for so long, Apostle. In the end, you will have to face your sins. And you will pay for them. Sleep, my child. Sleep and never wake up. We're waiting for you. All of us. We're waiting in the deep. In the dark. Join us here. There's nothing for you out there. You belong here. With Amar, in the deep, dark, cold, forever and ever. I must go. He'll wake soon. Make sure he drinks water and eats. He will recover. The only wounds I cannot heal are on the inside. He must heal those himself. Wake up, Kian. Wake up. Wake up! Where in Shadow's name am I? I don't know why they didn't just kill him when they had the chance. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. I hear he defected. The Apostles want to now. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it.
Shit, he's here. What if he heard what- Shh! They're waiting for you out in the main hall. Is it true that Captain Bakim sacrificed his life to free you from Friar's Keep? He was a good man. I hope it was worth it. I'm glad to see you're up and about. Most gambled on the fever taking you. I won quite a few iron pieces, to be honest. Shepard is waiting for you in the main hall. I'm glad to see you're up and about. Most gambled on the fever taking you. you. You're still as I won Nothing quite a few iron that. pieces, to be honest. Trader is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? My wounds are fine. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance, Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals, like her, and me. I remember... The Captain. The Portal. The, the Captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakim over you? A butcher, an apostle, a fucking Azadi. He insults my people, this creature, this man. I've seen many Dolmari in my life. Do I know you? Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We're livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. I will not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. My life was already taken from me. Why make all those sacrifices for a traitor and an enemy? Why am I here? We chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you as a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life for the redemption I know you seek. I can never be one of them. Let them lock me up, throw away the key. Let them kill me. I can never be one of them. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight with Liko and Enu. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself, my mission, my faith. 
Fuck you, Kazi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. This one leads the magical resistance. She's a Samare. I've never met their kind before. You have recovered well, Kian. Your wounds were deep. You are strong. You brought me back to life. I'm still not sure why or what for. We would not have saved you if we did not believe in you. The Dalmari does not agree. The Dalmari has a name. And Liko has his reasons. You may want to speak with him. And what if he's right? What if I'm not the man you think I am? It doesn't matter, Kian. You have been born again. You can become the man you want to be. Not everyone gets a chance at redemption, to undo the damage they have done and to shape their own future. The captain said the same thing, only with different words. Balsai is... he was a man who spoke his mind and spoke freely. I never met anyone who cursed as colorfully as he did. It was truly a thing of beauty. But he too had a past that haunted him. He was a lot like you. With us, he was given a second chance, a rebirth, an opportunity for redemption to atone for his sins. And he did. For the time being, I can do more here than I can anywhere else. I'm caught between worlds, part of neither. I don't but I will try not to disappoint you. I have faith. Don't talk to me about faith, Shepard. Faith is everything. Faith can lead you astray. Blind faith, yes. But faith can also lead you back to life. We will help you open your eyes. Kian, would you share your story with me? I have heard only fragments, rumors. I know there's more to it. She saved me. Gave Of course, Shepard. Before all this, I was the Apostle. Back home in Azadir, I was loved and feared. I laid waste to our enemies in the name of the Goddess. A little over a year ago, I was summoned by the Six, our Empresses. They commanded me to travel across the sea to the occupied territories of the Northlands. I was to find and kill the rebel leader known as the Scorpion. He had murdered many Trueborn and he stood in the way of our mission. I had always been taught that magic was evil, an affront to the laws of nature and to the goddess. I'd been told that the magical races were dangerous and immoral. But when I arrived here in the Northlands and met the people of Mercuria, well, magicals were not the simple monsters of my childhood tales. Magic wasn't simply a tool for evildoers. It was a lot more... complex. Then I met April Ryan, rebel leader. Of course, I didn't know it then. She was a stranger, our meeting accidental. But I know now that it was meant to happen. She was strong and honorable and good. She stood up to me. She questioned my beliefs, my faith, my mission. Her strength made me question everything. But I still went after the Scorpion and the Resistance, blindly, on faith. I finally tracked down the Scorpion. April Ryan. Infidel. Terrorist. Leader of the Resistance. Nothing made sense. But a choice had been made. The consequences were inevitable. My own people had me followed. My blind faith led them straight to her. To April. They killed her. 
decimated the resistance, sentenced me to death. For a year I rotted away in Friar's Keep. I was already dead, a walking corpse. I had lost everything. I had given up. But now... Now I have the opportunity to redeem myself and my nation. To help rebuild the Resistance. To avenge April Ryan. And to bring justice to those we... Those I have hurt. For that I'm grateful. Of course. Thank you. When you've spoken with the others and are ready to leave, come see me again. Our water tanks are running dangerously low, and the I resistance. smell no rain on the wind. A year ago, I You need them. to go up to the rock tonight. Today, I'm one of them. Kian Alvani. Soldier, apostle, assassin. I expected someone taller. Ah, never you mind. Welcome to the movement for the liberation of Mercurier and the Northlands. Welcome to the bloody resistance. How's your back, eh? The herbs helped. Aye, she knows her stuff, our Zidmari medic. And she was concerned for you. Sat with you until your fever passed. Never left your side. I'd say she was sweet on you, but it wasn't even that. It was like she... like she was paying back a debt. I'm the general, me. I run this place. You got a problem with logic sticks, you come to me. Your bunk ain't soft enough or hard enough, the general's your man. Not happy with your rations? Call on the general. Maybe that stuff ain't as important as intercepting communiques or assassinating a zaddy, but this place don't run itself either. Got any questions, soldier? I have a f Do I know you from somewhere? Well, I can't imagine you would, unless you're from around here, and you're clearly not. In my former life, I didn't have much contact with the Azadi outside of bars and card tables. And you don't look like you visit either of them very often. In my new life, I've been mostly stationed here, at headquarters. We don't see a lot of Azadi visitors. Perhaps in Mercuria? No, I don't see how we could have met there. You must have me confused with someone else. Carry on, laddie. Oh! And make us proud, damn it! Small of stature, big in spirit. What That's are you the general. Planning? Hello, hi. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enu Mar Sandhya, Twilight Child, daughter of Teamar, and. And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper zid, but. He's not around? So... Hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. I... I am. Great, hello! Azadi, huh? That's... Yeah, great. I've never been. Is it nice? I hear it's nice when they're not, you know, waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh... Conquering. Murdering. This is all she knows of Azadir. Maybe that's not so surprising. How would someone who's not from there know the truth? These people only see the actions of a... You think that's all we do? Oh, no, obviously there's, um, things I don't know, I just... We don't get to socialize with Azadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shout a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um, I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just, that's not appropriate, daughter of Teomar. Ugh. Sorry, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? She's trying too hard. She's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, despite how the Azad... You're doing fine. 
It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandja. Twilight child, daughter of Teyama. Oh, wow. The same, Kian Alvane, apostle of the Azadi, son of, um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. K. Can I call you K? You can call me Kian. Oh, yeah, that, that's much, much better. Kian. Welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. I will speak with him. In private. Oh, okay. Private. Got it. Won't pry. I'm trying to cut back on the prying. I f so, what's your story, daughter of... Oh, just Enu. No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. <laughs> the opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum. That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm zidlings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well... I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than... Farming, being a loyal daughter, a zidling breeder. Clearly. I really wouldn't make a good zid wife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. Ah! What are they playing? I, I must learn to play this game. It's a good way to become part of the group. I'm sure the others would love to say hello. I know Jakai's been dying to meet you. The General, too. And Liko... Well, not so much Liko. They're a scruffy lot, these rebels. Truth be told, they may not look like much and they don't have the resources. But they won't give up until the Azadi are gone. Or their resistance is dead. Hoi, Alvane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, uh, I, I, I did business with your pe- with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. Un until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid. At the Journeyman Inn. Benrim Salmin is my mother's sister. She, she raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Selmin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt. I arrested his aunt, but apologizing won't do anything to change. I was f Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the Resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. He obviously wants to tell me his story. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even... even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators. Anti-magical crusaders. Turncoats. I'm not proud of that. This... But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone, 
It, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the Magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. I sought out the resistance, and now here I am, with all these brave people, like... like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she, uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are a really striking people. So pretty. Anyway, that's my story. It's quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvane Dar. Kian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. That one looks better dressed than most of the other rebels. He doesn't quite fit in. Jakai, nephew to the innkeeper Benrime Salmin. She's a good woman. Him, I'm not so sure of yet. That one doesn't much like me. So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. I'm certain again that I've seen this Dolmari before. No matter the circumstances. We have met before, Dolmari. I know it. We have. I wouldn't expect you to remember where. I'm sure it mattered little to you. Just one more blue face amongst the thousands you have murdered. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antigua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadbir. And then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antigua. The Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before, Apostle Alvani. You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all... What's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today. And someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Light of the Goddess. Liko is at Almari from Azadir. We've been at war with his tribes for as long as anyone can remember. Shepard is waiting for you in the main hall.
She's a striking creature. Are you ready, Woman. Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Eno are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do, how do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is a Nirhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It, it makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. What do you think the Asadi are building? Those machines and metal tubes everywhere. I hear it's some sort of weapon. A little bird told me it's a new form of indoor plumbing. Apparently, you just be able to push a button to get ground. rid of all your... Oh, right, that must be it. The hell? You absolute tit. The magicals care. They'll be shipped out, all of them. But we can't just give up, right? Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Lee Kuo and Enna. Do you get seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. Split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'm supposed to visit someone called the Mole. A code name. This powerful man runs the criminal. There's a traitor. I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she. <sighs> probably frequents the magic ghetto, but he... Uh, she... must be human, or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National Fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl, uh, woman, person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. I'm... 
Where can I find this man they call the Mole? Oh, it's not the a... The Mole's burrow is right here in Shady Quakeon. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find the Mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called the Mole. Who is a human man, obviously. God save us from Zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The Mole operates an underground supply network out of the Magic Ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain uh, good relations. Whatever the Mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Anu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the magic market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. It's a tavern on I Reed Avenue, right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Uh... Goddess, forgive me for this. Hmm. Hmm. That tastes... pretty good, to be honest. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. A map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria. A map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria. The mole's expecting you. You'll wait your turn in the back. Don't speak unless spoken to. And no funny business. All right? He's not doing a very good job of being inconspicuous. But maybe that's the idea. He keeps an eye on me at all times. Merely the mole's an well unfortunate protected. side effect, Madam Mole. I, I don't expect. Unfortunate side effect? Is lot more than unfortunate side effect. Is mud-riddled catastrophe is what is. Everyone in bar sleep. Everyone who drink wine close eyes and start snore. Not good for business. Well, yes, we put too much of the poppy stem in the mix. I blame the... Don't care. Responsibility on you. You cause disaster, you fix disaster. Poppy stem only to make wine more good, give spice, make more people buy wine. This, this make people not buy wine. This make people sleep and not drink any more wine. Make people buy other wine. This is bad thing, not good thing. Bad, bad thing. So, you fix. How you will fix? Oh, well, see, that's the problem. We've we've run out of poppy stem. It all... it went into that one shipment. Earth, save us from you lot. 
Without poppy stem, our wine just wine. Nothing extra, no spice. Very well. You get even song from City Green. It grow there. Goat eat it. Goat love it. Goat get dizzy and fall over. Goat never know when enough is enough. Not same as poppy stem even song, but we'll do for now. Make wine more special again. Thank you, madam. I'll... Mix right amount next time. Not too little or no spice and not too big or everyone go sleep. And if everyone sleep, you sleep. You sleep long sleep. Final sleep. Um, oh, right. God, yes, yes, I... Thank you, my lady, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing, Azadi? Hmm? Come out of shadow. Let me see you. Is that... Goddess, that's the mole. She must know who I am, and we need your help. You need something, I need something, everyone needs something. Let me tell you how my operation work. You do something for me, I do something back. His only way is never first, never, never first. Because I am the mole. So sing your song, let me know what you need, and then hear what I need. Come on, come on. I'm asking for help to fight the Azadi. Wouldn't that count as doing for you? But you are Azadi. I am. An apostle? I was. Mech. I'm not like human. Azadi, they are worst of lot. How I know Azadi not playing me? How I know you not playing me? Goddess, save us all. I am Kian Alvani. I was the Apostle, but now I'm a rebel. I'm here to make my people leave the Northlands and return to Azadir, and to ensure our so-called leaders stand trial for their crimes. I don't know. Smell like trap. But let us pretend you speak truth. What you want with the Mole? I was told you could help us with weapons and supplies. Maybe the Mole can help with weapon, maybe she cannot. But before this question answered, you help me with something. Scratch back. Scratch? It's just saying. Not want your oversized hand all over back. Favour for me. Favour for you in turn. What do you need? Need to intercept runner. Messenger who pass word between guard station in city. There is letter I need. You help Mole do this, Mole will consider your problem. I can do that. Good for you, Apostle no more. One condition. This runner. You will not hurt him. I will not. Why not? They use young men for runners. Boys. They have fought no battles. Killed no rebels or magicals. They don't deserve to die. They are still enemy. I need your promise. I promise, I promise. No one hurt your little runner. My man there will mark place on map where runner pass. From there you find place to take message from runner with no guard watching. Remember, no one must see. Very important this. You take letter from runner, we get letter from you. Everyone goes separate way, everyone happy. When job done, talk to the mole again. The mole will be ready to talk business. What are you? What I am, he asked. What I am? I am the mole. That's not the name of your species. My species, he say. The Azadi, always so tactful, always so sensitive. In my tongue, that name be Banda Banta. It mean tiny folk who sing to earth and shape it, or something like this. 
His fancy way of saying, we live in muck, no many song and dig deep tunnel. So we are mole, deep dweller, digger, mole with fancy name, who speak and sing and also magic. Except a zardy come and put fire and smoke in Banda tunnel. And when Banda come out, a zardy slaughter. Every one of us, man, woman, child, infant, no mole spared except me. Except old woman left me for dead. I am last of species, Azadi, last of people, last of banda banter, last of mole. I am the mole. And now you go and come back only when finished. Go. Shoot, leave. You know door, easy to find, still open. Is thing done? I hear nothing from men. Thing most likely not done. You're right, it's not. I wanted to ask you something. So ask, not waste time. She's a magical. Why haven't you joined the resistance? The shepherd asks same thing. Why not join resistance? How quickly they forget how they treat Banda before. How they look down on us, call us mole man, mud dweller, snub snout and soil monkey. The magical treat banda, much the same as human treat banda, like muck underneath toenail, like filth. I have no love for resistance. I have no use for resistance. But resistance fight Azadi, fight human. So I sell you weapon and food and medicine. And I don't fight resistance. The enemy of my enemy is, well, not friend, but at least not enemy. When the Azadi soldiers, they attacked your village? In brightest day, they come and we scurry. Human never good sign. Human always trouble. But never like this. Never like this. We scurry into burrow and we close hatch and we sing softly to earth to make new tunnel. Just in case. Just in case. But a Zardi soldier, they have scheme. They are clever. They cover every hole and they throw fire into burrow. Fire that make black smoke. Children, the old, the weak, many suffocate. The rest, we are blind. We cry, we crawl upward, out of burrow. The Azadi wait for us with club and sword and spear. They laugh while they murder. We try plead. They only laugh. I stumble, sword, snip my ear. Not hear so well in ear now. I knock head fall into dreamless sleep. When I wake, my world gone. All because of Azadi. All because of your people. I can't remember. What was it you wanted me to do again? Is Azadi thick skulled so intelligent thought can't get through? Or perhaps too much grime in here? Is same as before. Find runner, trap runner in quiet place, take letter, give letter to my men. Then we speak of arming rebel with weapon. Clear? Is anything else? I can't remember. Hard to believe that such a little thing can command. I hear you run the Mercurian underworld. You hear, you hear? is where I belong. Underworld in Burrow is my natural habitat. But there's more to it than that. You run a criminal empire. Empire. Only human have empire. Only human be empress of empire. Me, I run business. Business in Burrow. Underground. Underworld. It's an impressive feat for one so... small. Spoken like big human. Size not matter. Size irrelevant. Is strength elsewhere? In 
head, in heart, in mouth. Lucky me, the mole is strong in head, in heart, and especially in mouth. I must leave. Good. Moon moving. Night only has so many hours. He keeps an eye at all times. The mole's well protected. He keeps an eye on me at all times. The mole's well protected. a map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria. Cheers, I've got tasty sandwiches. tried to steal my purse. So? You're a Zardi. That's the worst excuse ever for stealing a purse. You could get your arm chopped off. So far, so good. Lucky for you, I'm not a Zardi. Now scram. How tall are you? You're really tall. Leave me alone, boy. You're a lot taller than my dad. Are you sure you're not a Zardi? Yes. You look a Zardi. Are you a soldier? Why aren't you in uniform? Are you secret police? What? No. Run off before I lose my patience with you. You sure look like one of them. Oh, for the love of the goddess. What's your name, boy? Bip. Bip? Yeah. So? You should be with your mother, Bip. Not out on your own, thieving. Go home. Can't. I ain't got one. I'm sorry. You should still not... They're not dead or anything. Uh, my parents. They were just sent to Guillen. Guillen. That's where the Magicals are sent. They don't come back from there. But the boy must know this already. He must have seen it happen. The boy probably has no idea what happens on Guillen. Guillen. To the prison colony. Re-education camp. That's what my father said. They probably didn't listen very well in school when they were children. They'll be back when they've been properly re-educated. No one comes back from the islands. Not magicals. What do you mean? I mean... Are you saying they're going to stay there forever? He's a... They're not coming back. But why? What will happen to them? You shouldn't think of such things. Do you have no family here? Not in Mercuria. They're all in the Southlands. What's going to happen to them? They will be put to work. That's what the prison camps are for. To keep the Magicals away from humans. To segregate them. Segregate? To keep Magicals apart from humans. Forever. You're lying. 
I am not. Truly. You're one of them. Why are you here? Are you going to take me and send me to be a seg segregate? Segregated. Two? I'm not one of them. Well, you sure look and sound like them. I'm sorry about your parents, but I have things I need to do. Are you with the Resistance? Uh, resistance? Well, of course not, I'm... Because I ever heard someone saying there's an Azadi in the Resistance now. And if you're Azadi, and you're here, and you have things to do, that sounds an awful lot like you're with the Resistance. Keep your voice down, boy. Don't worry. Everyone in Old Town supports the Resistance. Most everyone, anyway. What do you mean by most everyone? I mean that there are some who don't support the Resistance, some who sneak off to National Front Assemblies, some who rat out rebels to the Azadi. Do you know anyone like that? No. Well, I don't know their faces, but I know where there's a National Front Assembly tonight. Show me. What? Show me where. I get to go on a mission with you. That's... that's... so incredibly cool! Calm down, boy. I just want you to tell me where it is. How well do you know the city? Well, not... very. Right. So I'll show you. Too complicated to tell you. It's not safe. For you? No. For me? I leave the ghetto all the time when it's dark. I know where to go, where the guards are posted, their patrol routes, everything. I'm like a rogue, one with the shadows, the veiled avenger. I'm an assassin. Uh... But just show me the way, and then you're coming straight back here. I'll just stay for a little while. Straight back. Or I find someone else to take me. Good luck with that. But fine, I'll come straight back. Are you ready? Can we go now? I should... Will you wait for me here? Oh, man. But we are going, right? Tonight? Soon. Fine. I'll wait. The Magicals keep their heads high despite the Azadi threat. It's a testament the to their resilience. Medicines your body needs. Fully authorized... Oh, hello. Do come again. Exotic oils, foreign herbs... Soothing salves, ointments. <laughs>